Universe. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Marvel Legends Walmart exclusive Black Panther. Pretty pumped to finally find this guy. I really want to find the other one too, where it's the more classic looking. Uh, this is like the modern, modern Black Panther. And I, I still think he looks pretty cool, but I really want to get the original looking Black Panther. Anyways, on the side of the package you can see an awesome uh, picture. It looks like a painting of Black Panther there. Here is the back. Looks alright, I mean not the best product shot, but uh, if you want to read the read-up, pause it now. Nothing else, you know, no wave just because it's an exclusive, so... Uh, there is the beautiful painting again. I would actually keep this, but I have no room, so... Uh, and then you can see the Black Panther spot varnish. And that Walmart sticker so... I don't know, it, it's still a little too simple for me. Uh, but yeah, let's just get... There's nothing on the bottom, I, I guarantee you. But let's just get this guy opened up and see how cool he really is. Alright, we got Black Panther out of the packaging. And uh, wow, I'm actually pretty surprised how much I like this figure. I can't tell what... Body mode has been reused. Um, maybe it's the Venom body mode, which is the Hyperion. Um, I can't tell. Maybe it's the Captain America body mode from the Onslaught wave. Uh, I can't tell. I really can't. Uh, it's not a bad body mold. Um, I definitely can't. I'm more excited to get the uh, other Black Panther, just to see, just so I can, you know, play around with him and see if I could get him in poses like such. Uh, it does come with a few accessories. It comes with an alternative head and two flame effects. We'll take a look at the flame effects first. And uh, honestly, I don't know why they're flame effects, just because. I don't, are they technically flames? I don't know. I I have the first volume of um, Nation Under Our Feet. Uh, I definitely want to read that. I picked it. I ordered it from Amazon not long after I saw the movie, and I wanted to do it before I saw the movie, but I just didn't get around to it. Uh, but yeah, I, I really I think these look good, but just I don't understand why it's flame effects for. Kinetic energy. I, I don't know. Uh, he comes with this alternative head sculpt, which is it's just the same head sculpt but uh, different eyes and no paint. Um, and he comes with t two different pairs of hands, one of them being a fist and one of them being an open claw. You can see that looks pretty good. Yeah, looks good. Nice paint apps, clean. Clean paint apps here as well. So yeah, this looks pretty cool. Now, I'm not I've seen people make customs of this figure where they completely covered up the pink and it looks awesome. I definitely want to try to do that myself, but this figure took a long freaking time to find as it is. I uh, I was at, you know, my uh, a um a Walmart very far away from my house in uh, Raynham. I went to the Raynham flea market. If you want to see what I got, check out Funko Friday. You'll definitely enjoy it while I flex. <laughs> uh, technically, when you show off your haul, you're flexing. Um, but uh, we in the toy community, I think we're used to it. But anyways, uh, we went to this Walmart and my uncle started rushing me out. And I was like... Find, because I didn't find anything, no wrestlers, no Marvel Legends, no Star Wars, and um, we went to, we were walking away, but we were walking in the back aisle, and we, we were walking by the puzzles, and I just saw him sitting there, and I was like, are you kidding me? And uh, I've been looking for this guy for a long time, because I went to one of my local Walmarts, and... Uh, I walked in, I'm like, I'm, I hope I can find this guy, you know. And I see a guy there holding this. With, and it, I saw the sale sticker on it. Ten bucks. It was half off. Brand new figure at the time. And we started talking. He was like, because uh, at the time I did not have the newest wave of Marvel Legends, which was the Black Panther wave. And so I had a couple in my hand. And oh, I had one in my hand, and then I had um, the Bray Wyatt figure, the most recent Bray Wyatt figure from the WWE Elite uh, line. And 
he was looking at a Ko- uh, not a Koye, Nakia, and I was like, you want to trade? And uh, he said, no. And then we kept talking, and he told me that this, the, the Black Panther figure was his second Black Panther. And, and, he was an inbox collector. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, but why do you have to have two? It's not, you know, the most impressive figure on Earth. I, I don't know. If you if you know who you are, if you're watching this video, you should have given it up. I, I don't know. Uh, but uh, and rant. I would go on, but I'll probably mention it in a different video one day. But this hair sculpt looks pretty good. I'm definitely not putting this on unless I find another one, and I'll cover up the pink, and then I'll use this. Cause I think without it, I saw like I said, I saw someone do a custom. And it looked amazing. And I know it was just it's just one black, like I don't know what color black, but what type. But it was just plain black, and it looked awesome. And this does look awesome too. It's just I think it looks you know cool when it's all black. I don't know which one looks cool, uh, but I know this is a very rare form of Black Panther. But anyways, let's take a look at this head sculpt. Light in. Let's get the camera facing down because the lighting is weird. I don't understand it, but yeah, it looks good. I like that. See the uh, gold eyes. See some nice good paint apps in there. I really like that. And the ears are kind of pushed. I don't know, pushed back. I guess. But the paint looks really good. Like this necklace, you can see the Black Panther logo there. It's kind of vague, but if you really pay attention, you can see it. I wish this was a little bit, you know, smaller so it fit better, but whatever. You can see some nice wrinkles in here and there. Yeah, looks good. Muscle definition looks fine, I guess. And, uh, yeah, I just really like the paint apps. Very clean. No splotches so far. Um, by the way, I did pay full price for this guy. Uh, I don't care. It was worth the wait. Um, but... Looks a little uneven there. The dots. And you can see... There's nothing going on with the legs, but when you get to the lower part of the leg, you can see more nice, um... Paint apps here. Looks pretty good. Got some paint apps on the, uh, hands. And forearm. It's pretty good. Articulation, the head will look up like so. Down some, side to side. And the head will pivot a little bit. His arm will move up like so. Very high, that's pretty good. He will do a, bice uh, he will do a 360. Biceps hold, double jointed elbows, swivel at the hand and hinge. There is an ab crunch that far forward, that far back, uh, waist swivel hip joints move out like so he will kick out this much he will kick back a little bit not that much at all thigh cut double joint knees boot rotation and the feet will hinge and pivot uh you know what just for the fun of it i will do one comparison i wasn't gonna do any comparisons just because i don't have anyone i could do it with uh but i will do a comparison between this black panther and the movie black panther because i did pull him out recently so he's you know fairly close he doesn't have the Black Panther head sculpt on him, uh, but here he is. Um, you can definitely see that uh, the Black Panther movie figure is much more realistic. Uh, you know, thin. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, you know, yeah. once I find the uh, other Walmart exclusive Black Panther, I will definitely review them as soon as I get them, because I definitely want to put these guys up on my shelf. Uh, once I display these, I might actually put this Black Panther with the all new, all different Avengers, and I'm sh I, I think I know that he isn't with them, but I'm just going to do it anyways, just because I can, I don't know. I'm in like a, a ready to scratch pose, um, but yeah, um, 
Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. You, you can leave a comment down below if you would like. And, uh, yeah, make sure you do subscribe to see a lot more content. I know in yesterday's video I did say I was going to do, um, you know, either all WWE, WWE reviews or uh, Star Wars reviews. But, uh, I'm still jumping here and there. What I might do is I might do, like, Marvel Legends for Mondays. Uh, Star Wars for Tuesdays, you know, go off every day, um, different figures, uh, but I don't have that much Marvel, that many Marvel Legends to review, so, um, yeah, I don't know, I have one, two, three, four, four Marvel Legends to review, so make sure you subscribe to see those if you are interested in, uh, Marvel Legends, and I have too many WWE Elites and too many, um, Star Wars videos, so uh, definitely make sure to subscribe to see reviews of all of those, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace! Thanks for watching.